the U.S. is spying on many friends, allies, many around the world yet again. I mean, Snowden showed us that to begin with. And then the U.S. said like, oh, we're going to stop that. Let me tell you, we are, I, I can, you know, that's when it comes to spying on our allies, every time that comes up, every time it comes out, the, the U.S. goes, ah, look, I, I'm not addicted. I can quit anytime I want. I just have to listen. I'm I'm not I'm not going to spy on anybody anymore. I just I from here on out, this I I'm taking it seriously now. And then we keep doing it. But the latest one, the last well, this starts off talking about the last time. The last time a trove of leaked documents exposed U.S. spying operations around the world, the reaction from allied governments was swift and severe. In Berlin, thousands of people protested in the streets. The CIA station chief was expelled, and the German chancellor told the American pre president that spying on friends is not acceptable. In Paris, the American ambassador was summoned for a dressing down. Oh, I'm sure that was real rough. A French <laughs> yeah, yelling at the American ambassador. We do not like this. Oh, okay. Great. Brazil's president angrily canceled a state visit to Washington. However, it's been very different this time. The latest leak has again illustrated the broad reach of U.S. spy agencies, including into the capitals of friendly countries such as Egypt, South Korea, Ukraine, and the United Arab Emirates. Yeah, big surprise we're spying on Ukraine. I mean, we are basically we want, in Ukraine, we're spying on them because we want to make sure our employees are behaving appropriately. I mean, when you own someone like we own the Ukrainian government, we want to make sure our employees are, you know, that they're working a full, a full shift. If we're going to pay their salary. We're going to send $100 billion over there. We want to make sure they're not, you know, uh, asleep at their laptop with the, the glasses on that uh, have an open eye painted on the outside. So it looks like they're working when they're asleep. We're trying to make sure our employees over in Ukraine are doing, doing, doing their appropriate shit. Unlike in 2013, however, U.S. allies appear to be mostly shrugging off the latest examples of apparent spying. The governments of Egypt, Israel, South Korea, and the United Arab Emirates called leaked reports about their deliberations false or fabricated, but said little or nothing about the surveillance itself. <laughs> I love that. Oh, the, so uh, leaked documents show that the U.S. was spying on. Uh, oh, actually, I have a story coming up about Egypt, uh, about what we learned from spying on Egypt. But another totally mind blowing story. But um so basically, the leaked documents come out. They say, hey, the U.S. was spying on, you know, Israel and found out they were up to some shady shit and doing some things behind the U.S. U.S.'s back. And Israel said, ah, that's, that sounds that sounds fake. That's yeah, I eh, doesn't really sound like me. I don't, eh, I don't, eh, eh, it can't be true. And they so they said that. And then they never commented on the fact that maybe they don't want to be spied on. I mean, again, Israel is also our employees. So really, most of these countries are our employees. That's why they're not that upset over being spied on. They're, they're you know, they're, they're kind of just happy. There's no, like, ring cameras installed in the men's room where they work, you know, at the governments, at the UAE. They're like, you're not filming us in the toilets, right? Because other than, other than that, I'm cool with it. Um, but this is... Immense spying by the U.S. empire yet again revealed. And even though this one article is New York Times, in general, this has not gotten much coverage. You know, it's funny because this article by the New York Times is like, is like, why is it getting a global shrug? Meanwhile, they have shrugged it. Mainstream media has shrugged it. The, 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 the cable news has shrugged at, about it. They, they, you know, they maybe did a little report on it, a little three minutes CNN probably had three minutes two Tuesdays ago or something, and that was it. So while they go, hey, why is the world have a global shrug about this? This is probably the one or two New York Times articles about it. Meanwhile, Russiagate, which was completely made up, and we've seen again and again and again the proof that it was completely made up. New York Times didn't shrug about that, did they? Every morning. You break out your New York Times and they're like, Russia Gate! Having to find, having to invent new fonts to write Russia Gate just to make it seem like it wasn't the headline from the day before. So 
New York Times knows how to not shrug about things, and they know how to shrug about things. They know how to ignore things and how not to ignore things. And they have chosen to ignore the exact story they're saying that the global elite are ignoring. So, you know, that 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 is the irony and the pathetic nature of the New York Times. But again, this is mass spying by the U.S. empire because the U.S. empire believes it, we, it. I, you know, I, I say we to remind, uh, you know, to, to kind of make the point that I'm, I'm an American living in America, uh, American born and bred and all that good shit. But uh, I haven't made any of these decisions recently. I, the, the, the ruling elite rarely ask me for my input. Instead, it seems they spend a lot of their time trying to make sure my videos don't get out. So there is that. At least I got that going. Here's another leak that has come out from these Pentagon leaks uh, about spying. The latest leak suggests U.S. is spying on the U.N. chief over Russia. Or the chief of the U.N., uh, not, not chief of Native American. Leaked Pentagon files indicate the United States was monitoring United Nations Chief Antonio Guterres because it believed he was too soft on Russia after its invasion of Ukraine. During discussions on February, Guterres was undermining broader efforts to hold Moscow accountable for its actions in Ukraine, the leaked document alleged. But um, the point is not really Guterres' actions. The point, rather, is is uh, uh, the fact that they were spying on him, the fact that they were also monitoring him, meaning kind of none of these people are safe. I mean, the chief of the UN, all of these global officials, they're, they're, they're being watched by the US empire like the way the mafia watches, you know, store owners to make sure they're, you, you're gonna pay, yeah, you're not, you're not talking to other store owners, telling them not to pay, right? I mean, it really is a mafia operation. And each of these headlines shows the level the U.S. has gone to, to monitor the people that they fear are, go, are even slightly going against the U.S. empire. And so here we see they've done it to the U.N. chief as well. 